Prime Minister out there just uh, ahead of the winter session. We'll be watching that one closely. But Nippon Life has hiked stake in Reliance Life Insurance from 26% to 49%. My colleague Himadri Booch caught up with Sam Ghosh, Executive Director and Group CEO at RCAP on the counters of the deal and much more. Listen in. We are delighted that uh, Nippon Life has uh, decided to increase the stake from 26% to 49%. We have been in talks for some time and we've been able to conclude the definitive documents. Uh, obviously, this is subject to regulatory approvals. Uh, so, yeah, the, in terms of valuation, uh, the valuation, the company's total valuation is at 10,000 crores. This is, this is at three times embedded value, over three times embedded value rather, and it's, it's at the top end of the market because very few companies have achieved over three times embedded value, even in the world. So we're talking about, uh, in India, most companies are ranging between two and three times embedded value. Some are at about 2.7 times embedded value. So I think we're delighted that uh, this uh, transaction is uh, con being consummated now, and uh, we are happy that uh, Reli uh, Nippon Life is taking a more or less equal stake with us, and we both are now going to obviously jointly make sure that the company performs at the level we'd like it to. So now where would you uh, be using the proceeds? The proceeds are going to be used significantly towards growing our housing finance business. Our chairman at this last uh, AGM had mentioned that we should be focusing on housing finance business, women this need for affordable housing in India. So obviously a large part of the funds will go towards that and some of it will go towards obviously repayment of debt. And uh, with the business, because the company itself as is, the Reliance Life is solvency margins at over 370%. So therefore they don't really need capital to help them grow. Correct. So now, is uh, Nippon looking at uh, you know acquiring stakes on a larger uh, for in, in the larger group? No. If uh, if you remember, about a month back in October, uh, Nippon Life also signed an agreement with us on the asset management side, yes. where they're going from 35% to 49%. Again, valuing the company at over 8,500 crores. Uh, so there. Uh, so these are the two businesses that Nippon Life are in: the life insurance of the core business plus asset management. So we'll obviously continue working with them in these two uh, businesses. So what is your outlook on the insurance uh, industry as a whole? See, if you look at today, the life insurance industry is has been growing, and it, we expect it to continue to grow in the but between 10 to 15 percent growth rate for the whole year. Obviously, the growth has been driven by unit link products okay. and and a bit of group business. Uh, so, uh, which is obviously mainly dominated by the banks. The banks are growing, f focusing on unit link type products. Group business, obviously, all all the companies want to focus on, but again, the margins are very thin on those. For a company like ours, we continue focusing on traditional products, and we have stayed away from the group business because, primarily, because we find that the margins are very low to focus on. So, therefore, our continue, our focus going forward also will be on the traditional products. Correct. There's also banker assurance is expected, and all IRDA has been talking about it. What is your uh, assessment? Yes, uh, with the new corporate agency guidelines, uh, which are going to be effective from 1st April, obviously, banks can go have up to three partners and we are obviously in talks with a number of banks. We would also like to have banks in, as, uh, as partners for distribution of our products. And then only can we think of selling some uh, unit link type products because in, through the bank channel the cost of distribution is much lower so therefore you can afford to s sell uh, unit link type products. And we obviously are looking forward to concluding some of these uh, bank assurance agreements in the next uh, few months. Sorry. Uh, you recently uh, acquired uh, Goldman Sachs, AMC, and you know now if you look at the mutual fund industry, it's under a consolidation phase. Any anything on that front? Will you be looking at any other AMCs? No, so as a company, we are always open to acquisitions. But in the case of Goldman Sachs, because they're very strong on ETFs, and that was uh, their core strength, okay. and we felt that we also were doing some ETFs. But by acquiring that portfolio, obviously, gives us substantial position in the market, and that obviously was a key rationale for that uh, acquisition. Correct. Uh, now, Mr. Modi has been visiting, uh, you know, all over and promoting India, uh, brand India, so to say. So, how is the retail participation now, and and how how are FIIs looking at uh, Indian markets? No, see, if you look at it from a retail perspective, uh, domestic retail investors obviously are coming coming more and more into the into the equity market, equity uh, schemes. Yeah. And uh, initially, obviously, there were the H&I type customers who were coming in, but now also retail participation started increasing, which is a good thing. Uh, that has obviously uh, helped in, in terms of the FII's outflow, which had happened in the last month or so, or last few months, rather. So the domestic DI, domestic institutional investors have come in and, and, and ensure the markets keep uh, growing. Correct. So uh, do you think now the, the, the view of FII's has, has changed? Over the oh, last one, one, one and a half years? 
No, I think, see, for, from a FI perspective, I think it all depends on how the U.S. markets uh, uh, move forward in terms of interest rate hikes. If the interest rates are going to go up by December, then obviously there will be a drain off. But this is only a short-term phenomenon. India is doing a, India's a great place. Markets are growing. Yeah. And everyone knows that it's, we have one of the biggest industry markets in the world, and funds will have to come to India because we are a growing market. Correct. Now that Nippon Life has increased its stake to 49%, would you be looking at listing your uh, life insurance firm? No, at this point we haven't decided on uh, on listing because both partners now are more or less equal and we are working towards growing the business. However, at at some point if the regulator expects that uh, insurance companies have to list, then obviously we'll have to look at it at that stage.